Hello and welcome to another video on how to become a business consulting freelancer. And in today's video, I'm going to take a look at the section 5 of developing your personal brand as a freelance consultant. This course is taught by Paul Menders, a zero to master instructor. So let's go and let's jump in. In this section, we're going to see how to develop your personal brand to elevate your success as a business consultant. And when you talk about success as a business consultant, is that you have flexibility that these lifestyles give you because now you can allocate your time in a more efficient way. You can schedule your days. Okay? You have flexibility. You have security by having multiple sources of income from different clients, perhaps in different industries, as well as cash flow, which is the ability to get money providing a value or by providing a value. So uh, it's the same thing as when you're creating an offer, according to Paul Mendes. Uh, and you may wonder, hey, where did this uh, come from? Where all of these uh, texts come from? Well, it comes from uh, here, from the Zero to Mastery Academy. All right, cool. So, um, okay, so, all right. Anyway, uh, so in this section, okay, so is it, this is the same thing as when you're creating your offer, which means is that Look, remember of the value ladder, okay, from the section two here, the value ladder, okay, much like similar to create a an offering when you start with a basic offering, perhaps a consultation, and then you push up the client. Uh, ultimately, if you decide that this is the client that you're going to work with, as well as uh, the price uh, to get some money in your pocket with an account audit. And then, uh, down the line, you can push up the client to the, create a roadmap of the possible or the implementation that you're going to do based on your suggestions and expertise. And remember that the holy grail of many businesses is to have recurring clients. Okay, cool. So, because of that, and since uh, here, especially when you're developing your personal brand, this is much like creating your offer. So you want to stand up and you want to be a specialist at a given industry at the beginning. Okay? So you want to stand up and you want to be an, a specialist at a given industry. So in my case, what I'm going to do is to align myself with the Shopify platform, okay? And understand more about this. And remember, that is your job and your job alone to hone into that specific niche, develop a rockstar solid offer backed by your reputation. And when they mention here, everything you do is unique to build your personal brand as a consultant right so the benefits here so focusing on the following benefit will give you the ability to find land and charge more your client which is this uh, so let's go over some of the top benefits that building your personal your personal with an L it end with an L brand provide as a business consultant okay Cool, cool. So first is trust and authority. Remember that, uh, just to recap this, this is much like similar uh, or, is the, or is the same thing according to you know, uh, the uh, Paul Menzer's Studio to Mastery in Structure. According to him, this is the same thing as when you are creating your offer, okay? Uh, you want to stand up, you want to be able, you want to be an specialist at a given industry. 
uh, and everything you do is unique to build your personal brand as a consultant. And there's some benefit that help you to find and land so to find, land, and charge more to your client, which is the whole idea of this. Okay. So let's go over some of the top benefit that building your personal brand provides as a business consultant. Okay. So the benefit is trust and authority. Having an artist and audience help you to build trust, authority, or being a trustworthy source. I, I like I like more the the word trustworthy source rather than an authority because uh, uh, even though the authority can serve for a particular purpose, become a trustworthy source. So authority comes from trust. So I, I trust that you're going to do a particular thing. So for example, uh, when you go to a doctor or to a mechanical, so you trust in his expertise or her expertise uh, to fix that problem or to diagnose you. So it's more like trust here. So and thought leader in your industry. So this is one of the benefits of developing your personal brand, okay? Your trust and authority because having an audience uh, help you to build trust, authority, and a thought leader and become a thought leader in your industry because people gravitate to people they know, like, and trust. Very, very, very important. Very, very, very important. So putting yourself as this will pay off dividends in the long run. Okay. So using my own words, trust and authority, uh, it allows you to build an audience uh, uh, or, or, or uh, having an audience, having an audience, the importance of the, the, the audience. So having an audience to build trust, authority, and become a thought leader in that industry because people gravitate uh, on things they know and like. So things they know, like, and trust. And put it yourself as this will pay off you dividends in the long run. Okay. So trust and authority is one of them. Okay. So this is one of the first benefits of developing a personal brand as a freelance consultant. And this is the same as creating an offer okay it's the same thing when you're creating your offer all right okay so with that that'll be all for this video take care bye bye